Here's a quick tip for clip gain, one of my favorite new features added in Pro Tools 10. Clip gain is awesome. You know it, I know it, but maybe the people that you need to share your sessions with don't know it, or maybe they don't want to deal with it. I've got a session here that's got clip gain on a variety of tracks. This one down minus eight, this one up plus four, this one down minus six, and so on and so forth. Maybe I just want to apply the clip gain to the underlying audio so that I can pass the session along to someone who doesn't want to deal with it, or perhaps they're using Pro Tools 9 or older, or something like that. All I've got to do is select across the clips that I want to render the clip gain onto, go to the clip menu, choose clip gain, and render clip gain. As you can see, it is applying it and flattening it out on all of the clips. And now they have had the clip gain value rendered into them. New media has been created. The files still have handles as defined by the audio suite handle length preference. So if we go to the Pro Tools menu, Preferences, and here on the Processing tab, under Audio Suite, Default Handle Length, I've got it set to Whole File currently, so that means that when I rendered the clip gain, it was applied to the whole underlying file, not just the clip that you see on the timeline. That means that I can go to my trim tool and I can pull out handles. And the entirety of the handles have the clip gain applied to them. Pretty awesome. So at this point, I can share this session with someone else who doesn't want to deal with clip gain, or maybe they don't know about it, or maybe they're using Pro Tools 9 or older, and everything will work exactly the way I edited it and used Clipgain to rough mix it. That's it for this quick tip.